My first guest is a talented actor who you can see in the new movie Freaky, which is in theaters this Friday. Here he is, Vince Vaughn. Vince, ah. Oh. Good I'm, to see you, man. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for, for doing this. Uh, I, I really Always appreciate it. Always great to see you, dude. Yeah, I agree. Last time you helped me out, it was six months ago. Uh, we were on Zoom, and we are like, what's going on? We're trying to help each other out with our kids and stuff. Here we are. We're still on Zoom. I know. We're still in the middle of it. Yeah. But you're back in the studio, which is exciting. Yeah, this is exciting. It's good. It's baby steps. Very safe here at NBC. Uh, are you liking that? Wait, that's me calling it. Hello, Jimmy. Yeah. I got you. You're right here on Zoom. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Are you uh, are you liking being back in the studio? Yeah, I am. I, I do like it here. It's uh, you know, it's I, I miss the audience and I miss uh, having all the writers around and and you know, everyone's so spaced out. They're in different little things. Not all the writers can come back, and so it's it's a little tough that way. But besides that, I mean. I like the, you know, the sound is much better than my, you know, my kids aren't running. I thought you did a great job from home and your wife too. You guys did a great job from home. Thank you. I, I feel like my wife. It's probably nice to get some space for her to get a little space from you. <laughs> Just you can go crank up the funnies downtown now. Am I right? <laughs> I was going to say, she's very cool. She's like, no, we, it was great. It was all, it was just a perfect amount of time. Like I want to say yeah. two weeks ago, I go, honey, I think I can probably come home a little early. You know, if you want, she goes, Take your time. Take the night. And uh, then I go, okay. The nice way of saying it's like, don't do it for us. We're okay. <laughs> exactly. Uh, is remote learning going okay with uh, you and your kids? Yeah, it's, it's been good. We do pods. We have four in a class. Yep. And it's not like I'm in the middle of it, like rolling up my, my sleeves. I hired a teacher, which is a benefit for everyone, including the children. Yeah, my wife but did that too, yeah. I've been loving it. And I like it because at least they get to socialize like, hey, that was my pencil, or, you know, they're, they're at least learning how to behave. How about you? You're doing the same thing, right? Same exact thing, yeah. Me, my, me and my wife set up this whole thing, and it's, you know, we, we just didn't know where it was going to go and what to do, but the kids are having a great time. They're learning. It's like we get all sorts of different teachers, and music teachers, Spanish teachers, it's like, I mean, if I, I had nothing like that going to no, high school. You're like raising X-Men, that's exciting. <laughs> you have like music and Spanish. It's incredible. Oh, raising I, future secret service. You know what my kids love is, uh, the, uh, Winnie loves uh, reading eggs you told me about. It's an yes. app. And I've she, enjoyed, my kids have enjoyed that. Does She does that? You make them earn games by doing that? Yep, exactly right. She, she's actually like going like, I gotta read more because I gotta get the game and but I don't know, I, I, the logo freaks me out a little bit. A little bit? A lot, yeah. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. You see that thing? Yeah, it's not a... I don't... So you yeah, it's, not, it's, it's a nice app, to be clear, but the, logo's, the logo design, I don't know what happened. It's like a kid inside of an egg. So the kid's hatching... Bursting out of their egg. Yeah, it's true. It's the first... Bursting, bursting out... <laughs> is it much too large? Already wearing shoes? Uh, and then, like, throwing a plane... I, I don't know. I think I would go back. I'd like to see it with, with you and myself bursting out of the egg. That could be an exciting logo. <laughs> yeah. We're, I mean, we're, us. Yeah, we don't have an investment in this company, but why not us coming out like holding <laughs> or even holding books or something? Why playing? Yeah, right. Well, why, not in, why, not engaged in, in, why not engage in reading? Uh, I, what, have you watched movies with the kids? I do. I watch a lot of movies. My son has a real appetite for dangerous stuff. And I, he's seven years old. I watched the original Dirty Harry with him. I don't know how this plays out, but I did it. Wow. That's I know. It's scary. It's freaky. Remember that guy? It's a real psycho in that movie. Yeah, he's like beyond. The, oh, it's like awesome. Remember he's like shooting people from a rooftop to open up the film. And he's like laughing really fat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's scary to me. My little one likes the scary ones. She likes those. Like, we watched Coraline. I thought she was going to freak out, and she loved it. Coraline's a scary one. She was like, why does everyone have button the eyes? eyes go you, away. Yeah, she goes, do you and mommy have button eyes? And I go, okay, all right. Let's go yeah. back to uh, watching cartoons. Sometimes it goes over their head, thankfully. What were you watching when you were their age? I saw, I had two older sisters, so they weren't not going to go see, you know, Jaws or Saturday Night Fever just because I was like six. So I, I would go, I was like, they just like bring them along. But I kind of liked, I didn't like scary. Scary would bother me at night. You? Yeah, no, I was not a, a scary. Uh, I don't think I was even allowed to. My, we didn't have HBO. We had nothing. So, I mean, if I did see a horror movie, it was like a, oh, gosh, maybe it was some edited version of Halloween or something or on Inappropriate TV. language, that kind of stuff, the comedy stuff I was fine with. 
I, I we were like big. Uh, that shit stuff bothered me. The puppets talking and stuff would really give me a hard evening. Yeah, I agree. I need the Twilight Zone with the puppet where he talks back and the guy becomes the puppet. Uh, Twilight was Zone. The Twilight was... Zone with Burgess Meredith, the gentleman who dazzled in Rocky when he lost his glasses. He's the man loves books. Yes, that's it. He loves to read, and it's the end that's of the right. world, and he's the only, and he survives, and he goes over to the library and just rubble and just thousands of books and he's like <laughs> like crazy laughing he's so happy and he walks he trips and his glasses fall off and he breaks his glasses yeah they did a nice job at that show didn't they oh they were so good i remember the first movie i think my parents took me to i was probably five or six i saw the champ with ricky schroeder did and the tears just, fall dude just i cried i cried yeah. my eyes out everyone was crying yeah. it's unbelievable you don't take a your kid one. to go see the champ do you that was a remake. I didn't realize that, but there was an original champ uh, who's... with the same actor from Treasure Island. Uh, I... Did you always watch movies? Were you always into movies? Yeah, my parents yeah, me loved. Too. Yeah, loved it. And we we were Irish Catholics, so every James Cagney movie, like we were watching gangster movies. Didn't know what Would they you were. Would go around the house saying "You dirty rat"? <laughs> yeah, that was my first impression. It, I swear I'll get it next time you're on, I'm going to play it for you. I was probably two years old. I said, you dirty rat. It's unbelievable. It's so good. Would you go to school and say that to people? And they were like, where's this guy coming from? I was doing like Don Ho impressions. Like I was, I was at, no one. Tiny, had, you were singing Tiny Bubbles? I said, aloha. That was my jam. But that, no, it wasn't an opener, nor was it a closer. But it was somewhere in the act. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. So on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's so